Hello everyone, welcome to day 17 of my 30-day Yoga for Beginner series. Today is all about wrist and ankle flexibility. So go ahead and start warming up your wrists. Take your hands in front of you, flex at your wrists, and extend fingers up towards the ceiling and towards the floor. Begin to take the wrists into circles towards the outside edge of the room. And switch directions. Back to center. Place your hands flat down on the mat. Tops of the hands down, fingers towards you. Continue pressing here. And make sure you're in a comfortable seated position, whether that's with crisscross legs or on your knees. If you're on your knees, that may allow you to get a little bit more pressure on towards your wrists. Bring the top edge of your wrist so that it's facing the outside edge of your mat. Fingers in towards one another. You can find some movement with your body here, especially if you're on your knees, but rocking forwards and backwards, hitting some different angles in your wrist joint. Pull your wrist closer towards you. Lift up and palms face down, thumbs out towards the outside edge. Continue to rock forwards and backwards or begin to take circles here. If you're taking circles, switch directions. Return to center, hold here, continue to breathe. And gently release all the way up to seated. Interlace your fingers, hands come into a clasp and roll out your hands, drawing a figure eight with your hands. See if you can switch directions. Fingers interlace and we'll make a wave with our arms. So first going down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Down and up down and up, hold here. Wave out left and right, finding as much movement as you can here through the wrists and the fingers. And release, roll out your wrist, shake them out a little bit and we'll move on to our feet and ankles. Go ahead and find a comfortable seated position. Right foot comes in front and we'll begin to lift the right foot off the floor high enough that you're able to find some motion in your ankle. So moving through the same motions as we did in the wrist with the ankles, point and flex at the toe. And I'm holding on behind my thigh here to hold my leg up a little easier. Flex and point, flex and point. Go ahead and take that into circles, one direction. And the other direction. Come 
right back to center and place the foot on the floor. You can give your foot a little massage, give it some love here. And release, switch sides, lift your left foot, point and flex, point and flex. Go ahead and circle it out. Switch directions. And lay that foot on the floor. Go ahead and give it a little massage. So we'll make our way to all fours and eventually up to a downward facing dog. Once you're in your down dog, go ahead and walk out your legs left and right by bending into one knee and the other. And to stretch out the tops of your feet here in down dog, you can keep one foot planted, then tuck the toes of one foot under. And if you're following along, go ahead and switch sides. Come on back to center, keep your left foot down and bring your right foot wrapped around the back of your left calf. Switch sides. Return to center and drop down to your knees. So just sitting like this is a pretty hefty ankle stretch. If it's too much for you, you can use a block to prop yourself up on. You may find your ankles are more bent like I'm showing here. As you become more flexible, you'll be able to press them flat down towards the mat. So when, become, when sitting on a block like that is not enough to feel a stretch, you can take the block to a lower setting. You can also completely remove the block or press into your hands to create more of an arch in your foot. So find where you feel a stretch there. Continue to breathe. your way all the way to seated take a deep breath in and exhale stretch it out all the way on your mat bring your feet up towards your ceiling hands up towards your ceiling flex and point fingers and toes circle them all out Switch directions. And go ahead and take hold of your toes. Allow your knees to come wide for a little hip opener as you stretch your toes towards your face. and relax that's all for this video guys thank you so much for tuning in let me know if these stretches helped you out with wrist and ankle flexibility in the comments below have a beautiful rest of your day wherever you are in the world namaste